Hello everyone, my name is Adam Murray Post Vox, and welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video. If you are unaware, in the YouTube card icon and in the link in the description below, I do have links to an Ubuntu tips playlist where I have a bunch of other Ubuntu 16.04 related videos and tutorials, so check that out if you haven't already. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a cute little cat icon following around your cursor on your Ubuntu Unity desktop. This will actually work for probably any window manager. And it's actually really easy because you, you can do it from the command line, but you can also just grab it here from the software center. And it's just called Oneko. And I've, I've been looking for this for a long time and I typed it wrong. Oneko. There it is. It's only got three star ratings, so I'm hoping I can change that. Let's look at why the reviews aren't so great. Fun, fun, fun. How do you disable it? So fun with X penguins. Oh yeah, I need to take a look at that as well. Great, great. Someone complained because they don't know how it works. Okay, anyway. And all you do is just you hit install. And it's going to ask for your password, as installing anything should. And it's super small, because it's really just a tiny little GIF of a cat. And then you can launch it, although Ubuntu Software Center has been bugging out lately. That's kind of unfortunate, but since it automatically pins it to your tab down here, then you can go ahead and do that. And then you can do Oneko Dog. Now you have a cat and a dog. I did not know it would do both. Although it is turning my cursor into the scroll wheel, so that is unfortunate. And now they are together. Uh, so I'm going to turn off. Nope, that just spawned another dog. Okay, we're going to do Oneko stop. <laughs> that kills him. And Oneko. There we go. So I just want one running around. Just a cute little cat icon running around your desktop. It looks a little bit better if you have a black and white only theme going on because it glitches out a little bit there, but that's okay. And then I'm going to unlock from launcher. Actually, what does Unity Tweak Tool have to do with this? Nothing at all. I don't know why that's an option. Alright, so I'm going to unlock it from launcher. And that's it. So I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome Ubuntu tutorials. Check the link in the description below for that playlist that I was talking about for more videos related to this subject. And otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.